no matter how far one goes to get away. Some realities just can't be escaped. Yeah, it looks like they did like a smiley face right here. Graffiti found its way to the forest too. You know, eight feet, 10 feet from the other one. These hikers just couldn't believe it. It's just not okay. Even on a challenging trail that requires some bouldering. Yeah, come around that way. <laughs> a group had the stones to carry spray paint cans. Yeah, it looks like where they store it at. And this is what they left on top. Stick figures, Christmas tree. Just mindless doodling in a, in a way. Dylan Pyle watched as it was unfolding and hit record. Hey, who's ever kids these are out here spray painting rocks in Little Cottonwood Canyon? You gotta do a better job of being a parent. So we wrestled really loud and told them to get out of here and they, uh, they waved at us with one finger. Unified police say graffiti is particularly a problem in this area. They think nobody's around and then they just spray paint their little design. Though officers just came through two days ago to clean. Nobody wants to see your stuff up here in the mountains. Police say doing damage like this is a misdemeanor. I can only imagine how more, much more attention it would have drawn to it if it was done on these houses. Pyle says the real crime is spoiling a perfect view. Yeah, it's just sad. The taggers may have been able to get away for now. You just got to respect it. You leave it better than you found it. These hikers just hope. We were definitely looking for who Hope is because she was here. <laughs> they won't escape consequences. It hurts to see uh, people not trade with respect. I 